Hi guys, so I am way ahead in this planner actually, and I'm not complaining about that fact at all. I do still have to do my March monthly, um, but I'm actually really ahead. So this was February. This was the one that I think got lost. So this is the 25th, so maybe I'm not way ahead, so that's good then. So this is going to be the 20... 6th, 27th, 28th, um, and then the 1st is on Wednesday, so I'm really not even ahead. I thought I was, so that's good, because now I can, and I think I'm going to glue these two pages together and use another one, just because there's so much stickers on that one that are really thick that I don't want to mess myself up here. So I'm going to use this beautiful kit and I had originally, I chose the mini happy planner and it printed out to this size and I'm like, oh wow, that's way too big. It's not going to fit. So I'm really not sure if I pressed the wrong button or if the dimensions just weren't right. I'm really not sure. But whatever the case may be, I had to go get my cushion for my seat. Whatever the case may be, it wouldn't fit, but it will fit perfectly in this planner. So I'm going to just use it for this one. And I'm not upset about that at all. I really like the pink and the mints for it. So we're just going to go with it because I think it's going to go just great in here. I am probably... Let me see. My child, you guys, I say this every single time because it just really does kill me. He is so, I won't say so quiet because, I mean, he's not that quiet. He is a boy. But he is quiet the whole time. And then when I put Killing to sleep, I mean, it never fails. He all of a sudden wants to be rambunctious and loud. I just don't understand it. I really don't. I don't get it. When Killian's trying to go to sleep, he is so loud. And it drives me bonkers because I'm like, son, really? You choosing now to be loud? I don't understand you. I mean, is this really necessary? No, it's not. So, I know this is blue, so I am adding a little bit of blue here. But I really like it, so I don't. I don't mind. Phew! Y'all, I'm out of breath. I It is really warm outside. Really warm, like hot. And I saw, I was opening the blinds because it was sunshiny and pretty outside. And I was like, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. I opened up the blinds. I think me and the boys are going to go outside and play later when Killian wakes up from his nap. That's what we did yesterday. We had a lot of fun out there. And, um... It's just really warm outside. And so I was opening the blinds to get some sunshine in and my neighbors, um, they are an elderly couple that live across the street from me. And y'all, they had their lawnmower with a trailer hooked to it. And there was a pallet in their front yard. And y'all, they were trying to move big heavy hold on baby big heavy blocks of tile yeah I'm gonna help you clean your room in just a little while okay you need to do some videos first so go in there and play um they were trying to move these big heavy pallets full of like concrete and this big old blocks of tile from their front yard on that pallet all the way into the backyard with that little trailer and it was taking them so long and I saw them out there I watched to see what it was because the lawnmower was blocking my view I didn't want to just be that nosy neighbor staring over there but the lawnmower was blocking my view and I couldn't see how much they had to lift, so I didn't want to just run over there and then they didn't even need it and they were like, um, what? No, go away. So, they came back for a second load and I was like, oh goodness, no. So I ran over there and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, hey, I was like, um, can I help you please? 
And she was like, well, I was like, do y'all need help over here? And she was like, well, we won't turn it down. And I was like, holy cow, yes, please let me help you. I was like, oh my goodness. And so I, I helped them and it took us about five or six trips and it would, it was so heavy. Like he was like, oh sweetie, this is too heavy for you. And I was thinking for me, what about for you? I mean, he, they're in their like late sixties, but he has had a heart attack. He has congenital heart failure. He has a pacemaker in and he's out there holding up that tile. Oh, I felt so bad. I was like, don't you do this again. If you, if you have to do something like this again, you just ring my doorbell and I'll come over here and help you. Don't do this by yourself. I just felt terrible that they were trying to do that by themselves. Oh, goodness. And then I was so mad and agitated because the neighbors right beside us the ones that always have the loud radio and it's booming and it gets on my nerves that I complain about all the time. They were standing over there looking at them, watching them carry all that stuff. Just big old grown men. They ain't even helping nobody. Oh, it made me so irritated. She was like, I sure am thankful for you, but I can't believe these big old men are not even coming over here. I said, well, so much for Southern gentlemen. Goodness. And they're from, I think they're from, like, up north somewhere is where my neighbors are from. They are not southern, so they just moved here, like, a year ago. And I just was so upset that they were doing that by themselves. But I was so glad that I saw them outside doing it, so I ran over there to help them. And my boys were watching us through the window, waving at me. Oh, so irritating. So mad at my neighbors for not helping them. Are you kidding me? Didn't your mama raise you right to see elderly people trying to lift this by themselves? You think they can lift this by themselves? No. Oh, it made me irritated. That gets on my nerves. And that's what I mean. Like, when you see somebody who needs help, I raise my boys. If you see somebody and you can help them, you best get over there and help them. Ask them if they need help. You won't ever just walk away from somebody who needs something. We help each other. What is this world coming to if we don't help each other out? Stuff like that, especially. I mean, ugh. It's just awful. Anyways, they don't have... I mean, it's not like they have a bunch of people around them that and help them. I don't think they have any sons. I think they have a daughter, but I don't know if she lives here or not. But anyways, I'm going to get off my soapbox, but I was very happy that I saw them out there so that I could go and help them. She, I don't think she exactly knew how to take it. She was, she definitely took my help, but I don't know if she knew how to take the fact that I was over there with them. Anyways, anyway, so I'm kind of out of breath still because it was so hot out there and it took us a little while. Just cannot imagine what would have happened if they had to do it by themselves. It would have taken them all day. Okay, let's see, let's use this little one here. Trying to trim it and make sure I got all the white part off because these are just a little bit too big anyway. So I'm trying to make sure I get them straightened out. Y'all, I'm not the best at cutting straight because I am left handed. And you know, this is a right hander's world, so there's right handed scissors in my hands. And it does make a difference. So anybody that tells you it doesn't. They just don't know what they're talking about or they're right-handed and they think we're being dramatic but it really does make a difference so just so you know <laughs> it really does okay 
the thing is, these are really big little squares I've got going on here. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to... I probably should have put this on the other side, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift it with this really thin paper. Unless it just loves me. Oh, it loved on me. Look at that. I think what I'm going to do is trying to think to myself. I'm not doing the best of jobs. I think I'm going to do it like this. But, anyways, I just, I get mad when I feel like people don't help each other out. Do I want this here? Yes, I think I do, actually. So I think I'm going to put this decorative one here, and then I'm going to put this one here since I covered up the day of the week anyway, and cover this. Oh, uh, Ashley, can we please get it straightened out? Straighten out your life. One sticker at a time. Okay. She, um... <laughs> My neighbor brought the boys popsicles because she was trying to say thank you. It's so sweet. So I think in another video, I actually was talking about another neighbor. I was asking how much is too much. Like when you help people out and you feel like you might be taking advantage a little bit. Like how much is too much? And now I'm talking about helping my other neighbor. That's not even the same one, but... I don't think that was too much with that. That's not what I meant, so definitely not. I just, you know, if you can help people like that, I would run over there all day long. That's not how much is too much as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, you definitely do what you can to help people like, like that. In that video, I was referring to, like, giving people money and letting them borrow everything all the time and stuff like that, but as far as helping, I don't know, I have a soft spot in my heart for older people, I think. Um, I just, I feel like they are owed respect and I am more than willing to give it to them. I, I was very close to like my mom's grandparents, um, my parents are both very young. My dad turns 50 tomorrow, and I'm 30. And um, he was 19, about to turn 20 soon after I was born. And I, um, I was really close to um, his grandparents and my mom's grandparents as well because my my grandparents my parents parents on both sides were very young as well so their parents were still living and i was very close to them on both sides my great grandparents and i just have such a soft spot for like older people i think i was just raised that they are owed a great deal of respect and you respect your elders and that's just the end of it you know, you know, that's, that's the end. And, um, so I believe in that and I believe that they are owed a certain amount of respect and you take care of them and there's a lot to learn from them and that's the end of it. That's the way it goes. And I think that we've lost that. I think that it's not just that, but I think that we've lost that sense of helping each other and being there for one another and being neighborly, I feel like we've lost that in general. And we've lost helping widows and elderly people and, you know, the poor and the defenseless. And I feel like we have 
lost a lot of that and I think that that's a very very sad thing um, and it's a very sad thing to lose because it's so very important to be there for each other and to help each other and so anytime that I see an older person that I've mistreated and I don't know I just have I just have a soft spot for it and I'm more than glad to help in whatever way I can with those people because I think they're just precious and I don't know call me a weirdo but I just think it's just something about them like I just I have that soft spot for people who are older than me I feel like there's so much to learn from them and I feel like they deserve respect and help so anyways I don't know I'm not trying to give like some kind of lecture or lesson or anything but I just I feel like that's part of what's wrong with the world today is that we just don't help each other out in general but especially once you get older like you would want somebody to help you and be there for you and I just feel like we need to show others the same courtesy and be there for them and I feel like there's tons of people who their moms and dads they live far away and they don't have family here I know a lot of older people who their family they don't have their family here or, you know whatever and I, they need people everybody needs somebody and I'm willing to be that somebody for sure I don't mind it at all I, I am honored. So she brought the boys popsicles after I helped them out to say thank you and it was so stinking sweet. And Tristan was like, thank you, man. <laughs> and she thought that was cute. So school bus is here. I hear it dropping those kiddos off. My dad, if you guys haven't heard me talk about it before, my dad actually drives a school bus as well as being a pastor. He drives a school bus as well. So it always makes me think of him when I see the school bus. I don't think he really loves driving the school bus, but he doesn't. <laughs> okay, this is cute. I like it. I think it's cute. I like these colors a lot. And I think I'm going to use these just because they're in here. I think. Is there even a cute place for it? sleepy today you guys. I've been cleaning my house like a mad woman. I've been doing laundry like a crazy lady. I have been um I cleaned my living room. I have been cleaning in the kitchen. I have to finish the kitchen still. I think I might kill my husband you guys because he is the worst little messer. I mean just oh. I think he's messier than the children. Like, I think that he is just as messy or more messy than the kids. And it's driving me absolutely bonkers. He leaves little piles for me all over the place for me to find and of his dirty clothes. I've told you guys about this before. Now he has to have a new pile in the closet because in the morning time he takes off his PJs, puts on his... Um, work clothes and leaves his pajamas in the closet for me to find it is infuriating i'm like really 
I'm not a laundry service. I am your wife. Pick up your own dang clothes and put them in the millions of baskets I have laid out for you. Ugh. Driving me nuts. He is just driving me nuts with it. I'm just like, oh, really? I'm just angry about it. Can you tell? I think... I'm trying to decide if I want to cover this up. Look at this. It's already broken. It's already all messed up. How frustrating. It's already messed up. Sometimes they break like this, and I'm probably not going to be able to get it fixed either. It's probably just messed up. I don't think I can take it apart without breaking it. Ugh, how annoying. I hate when that happens. Sometimes I can get it to go back correct, but I don't think I'm going to be able to with this one. I think this one's just going to... Let's see. Let's see. Yay, I did it. Wouldn't that have been horrible if I was like, yay, I did it. And then it did it again. Sometimes they mess up, and sometimes I can fix them, but sometimes I can't. They're just a lost cause. And it just kind of is what it is. And do all of this so it can be smooth. And also, I'm really not helping it by using it like that either. Anyways, husbands are just, you love them to death, but they will drive you nuts. I'm sure they say the same thing about wives, and that's okay too. I know I'm not perfect and I get on his nerves. I'm not saying that I am for sure, but I just, and I love my hubby. I would, could not live without him for sure. I'd be a very lonely lady if I was without my best friend, but he drives me nuts. Even best friends will drive you crazy. And he drives me crazy all the time. And it's because he's such a mess maker. I just don't understand it. I really don't. How you can be so messy and just expect me to clean it up. It makes me want to just beat you. <sighs> Glad I got that off my chest. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. Seriously though, he does drive me nuts. He just such a mess all the time. I said, baby, I know you have made another little squirrel's nest, pal. That's what I call it. It's a little squirrel's nest because he just, it's just this little pals he leaves all over the place for me to pick up, clean up. So rude. I said, you know, I have to spend half the day looking for the piles you've left. Not really. That's being extremely dramatic, but you know what I mean. It's just like, it takes so much time just to find all the little piles you've squirreled away. Little snacks underneath the bed where he's put it beside the bed and it's gotten shoved under there. I have to clean out from right up under his side of the bed where he drops stuff down there and ugh, just ridiculous. Like worse than a little bit chilly up hiccups. Mm -hmm. I was so burning up I wanted to, to put a tank up on and turn the fan on and do all of these things and now I'm a little bit too cold. Okay, so this is laundry day. Have a little bit of sparkle in them. This one is. I don't know what this one is. This is bubble gum. Let's see if it smells. I smell nothing. Okay, so laundry day is this day. I really need to do lots of laundry, and I also want to change this day to master bath. And then I'll just do the kitchen on this day. 
Even though, let's face it, we have to clean the kitchen every single day. I don't know why I put it in a designated day. I know I need to do it every single day. I'm going to do vacuuming. And I'm going to... Let's see, this is... Let's see, we will dust on this day. I, don't, I think Joshua has to work on this day, but I'm not sure. I'm not positive. He does or not. This is not going to work on his washi. Are you crazy? Look how it's going to work. Nope. And they... The... What is that day? Monday the... 26th, 27, 28, yes, 26th, Tuesday, 27th, Wednesday, 28th, Thursday, I'll just put it right here. Thursday first. Friday second. Saturday. Dusting on Wednesday, I don't, he's not going to be off on this day. I don't know if he gets a different off day, so I might as well do some more. Um, my master bedroom can be done this day for sure. And then I need to, I started cleaning out my refrigerator. I need to clean out the laundry closet. Desperately, and I don't want to do it, so I've been like avoiding it. But I need to do it. I need to do the spare bathroom, which is really the boys' bathroom, but Tristan always uses mine for some random reason. And it's halfway across the house, too, from his room, so I don't know why he uses mine, but he does. Um, um, the boys' rooms. And I do need to remind myself that it is our weekend again because we get him more than one in a row. That way I'll kind of get their cleaning done before he gets here or either. Um, they can clean up as they go. And then Sunday we're not going to do any cleaning, but we do need to cut the grass. Cut grass. And... What else? I wanted to put something else on here. Now I cannot think of what it was. Oh, I need to clean the oven. And then I'll put clean the microwave on this day because I need to do both, but I might do them both on the same day, but maybe not. I'll try to spread it out. Okay. And I think that's going to be it, you guys little spring tea party. So ready too. And I think the weather's going to kind of be warm for a little while longer and then get cooler again and then play with our toy with our emotions like it does. It's really cute. I like it. I like it. I like it. So there is this spread. Look at this Christmas, I mean, Christmas card, birthday card for my dad that Tristan made. I helped him put, like, the little foam um, dots on it so it would pop up a little bit. And he made 
I put these pieces of paper together for him and layered them and we punched out some balloons and he made the little string and looks how cute. I can't do it with it. That's my mom with bringing the birthday cake. And this is him and my dad with party hats on. So cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So, anyways, I had to share it because it's sitting right here and it's adorable. So that is my spread for this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you stick around for the next video. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.